Every now and then, we seem to get one game in VR that just pushes the limits of what we thought was possible. There's cleaning your gun and into the radius, wearing a bucket on your head in Half-Life Alex, and even the game I played this week, Bootstrap Island, has a fully functional 17th century flintlock pistol. Flint, flint, flintlock. And all of that means nothing, because this game has a fully fleshed out VR coconut. This is so satisfying, dude. This is so satisfying. I'm too excited about this, but the coconuts are the main attraction in this game, I swear. Okay. Oh no! Don't don't spill. Oh. Surely a fruit from paradise. By the gods. <laughs> oh, the sun looks so good. The flintlock pistol, it's fun, sure. The fire mechanics, they're cool. The the lighting detail, super polished. Oh, the lighting behind and on top, that's great. But it's like they made a VR coconut and then went, oh, oh okay guys, but we can't just make a VR coconut game. We need something we need something else. Nothing else matters. Breaking open a coconut is enough of an example of why this is now one of the best VR games. And the result of that assumed brainstorm is a roguelike survival game that is set on an island after a shipwreck leaves you stranded here with nothing but a narrator in your head. Uh, maybe we're going crazy, I don't know, to keep you company. Uh, and the voice is sometimes just making you question your own mortality and life itself. It there we go. Hooray! <laughs> We've done it! Hey, look at that! Why did God preserve you? When all others perish? Let me celebrate one fire, damn. When are you gonna you die? Don't will you, will you please don't die? die? There's this weird feeling I get when I'm playing this game, dude. It's like how some people can get phantom sense, where they kind of feel something in real life when something happens in game. But this is like phantom hydration? I can't really describe it, other than what I'm about to say right now, I guess. But it's just so mind-numbingly satisfying to see crisp coconut liquid just sloshing around in VR and then just slurping on up. I'm somehow physically refreshed as soon as I drink one of these. I, I don't know. Even get to have a little treat at the end with eating the coconut meat, which you, you need to eat in the game anyway to survive, but regardless. Is it called coconut meat? It is. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Coconuts apparently kill like 150 people a year. Ooh, I'm gonna... I see a crap. I'm gonna get him with this freaking coconut. Nope. Okay, they're immune to coconut damage. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about coconuts. I just want to say it always annoys me that the FDA calls coconuts a nut when they're actually a fruit. But other than armored tropical fruit, this game shoots for the most in-depth survival mechanics I've ever seen in VR. Oh, the sun is setting, like, pretty fast. Probably build a fire. That's actually probably a good idea. Making a fire works exactly the way you think it would, which threw me for a loop, actually, because I didn't even think to find fire starter since I was in a video game, not actually camping. Ooh. Holding that pistol felt like you had a chance. You're telling me, man, I can make things go kaboom now. But then some people in the chat helped me out, so I wasn't completely helpless. What do I do? Except on the first night, where I just completely winged it. Driftwood kindling, two rocks should work. Fair, fair. Night what was the falling, and the beast could smell blood. Okay, this has turned into dark fantasy real quick. I don't have any bullets for this thing? I am not gonna make it. Hi! It is so dark. I'm so dead. Yep, just, just take me. Yeah, so just when you're coming to terms with, oh wow, these these days are short, and oh man, that volcano was pretty ominous over there in the distance. I All I know is that that volcano is gonna go off unless we survive, or is it that one? It's probably that one. <laughs> that one's probably not as risky as this one. Suddenly it turns into an eldritch nightmare dark fantasy game. So day one on the island did not go well. Uh, I was optimistic for day number two though. <laughs> God. I could have just found the sound effect online, but I wanted to make it myself. All right, a bit of this. Uh, okay. And it's gone. It's just gone. It's just gone. Someone tells me that wasn't supposed to happen. But even though I mentioned realism, there are some things that kind of break the immersion a bit that I don't like. Like, imagine loading up a ship in the 1700s. You're gonna be at sea for months, maybe years. You might not even go home again. You might just die at sea. And what was the precious cargo we were risking our lives for? Well, none other than one item per chest. We crossed the Atlantic just to deliver some antique Amazon packages, dude. Like, it's so stupid. That said, breaking the locks off of the rock is actually really fun. Where would a rock be again? There we go. There's one rock. Oh, that is just a lump, just like me. So day two is going all right. I'd already rubbed two rocks together and made a fire a little bit too early in the night. Oh, that fire is going down quick. I'll just grab some more, some more uh, fire. Wood. <laughs> That was a big delay in my brain. So my little hidey hole base camp here was looking okay. I just I just had to survive the night. Hey, there we go. So I guess we just need a fire to keep them at bay. Overnight? That's my guess. I see you guys. I see you. Just hoping this is enough. Yeah, you can't get me here. <laughs> How you guys doing? We're just hanging out here under a rock, holding a rock. Beasts of, of otherworldly horrors are about. Sunrise, please. I really hope I have enough fire. Wood. Damn, I can't keep, I can't say the words fire and wood at the same time. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, oh, my hands went in the fire. Okay, that's not fun. 
Nope, you can't get me. I'm, I'm under the back. No, I'm dead. Well, that's not enough to survive, I guess. It's a long night, okay. Wait, I lived? Holy crap. I'm like so, so dying right now. <laughs> I'm gonna not light the fire until it's actually dark. This is less of the Pirates of the Caribbean experience I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna get in my bag here and see the sea turtles. Oh, not you guys again. Oh, I think I waited too long. Gotta get back to my little, my little hidey hole. Just gotta get back. Oh, come on. All right, so while Larry in the past tries to light a fire without realizing he doesn't have any fire starter there, uh, let's talk for a sec. I spent around three hours playing this game on stream, but do you know how long a Quest 3 battery lasts? Not three hours. This video is sponsored by Kiwa Design, so if you're sick of constantly cutting your play sessions short, you should check out their battery head strap. It's plush, easy to install, and basically doubles your battery life. Check them out for yourself at the link down below and use code Larry for 5% off. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Ugh. Killed by darkness. What? What do you mean darkness killed me? That's not how things work. You can't just get killed by the dark. That actually makes me mad. <laughs> you were killed by the dark. <laughs> F off. I hate that mechanic. I th I, that's really dumb. I don't care that they're explaining it by like, oh, it's magical darkness. It's like, whatever, I don't care. It's, it's dumb. The other thing that kind of bothers me is that there's no inventory like at all. A apparently really far into a run, you can maybe find a bag to put things in, but I'm not even mad about not having a bag. I just feel like the most useless pair of disembodied hands to ever exist in this game. Like imagine going searching for wood and literally only carrying what your singular hand can carry instead of loading up your arms. Like, this game is super well made, but I feel like this is an example of where realism isn't always fun. Like, I know you only gave me floating hands, I don't have a body in this game, but just give me a few floating slots. Just let me carry some stuff. It's so needlessly tedious. You can even make me walk slower from the extra weight. That's, that's fine. Right, here we go. Slow and steady. <laughs> Here we go. Cheating the system. Just make a little gun sandwich. This is next level VR engineering right here. Who needs an inventory when you have physics? All that said, though, I am really enjoying this game. The visual fidelity is top notch. It's just kind of unbelievable. Actually, you know what? Why do people say unbelievable? I literally see it. How can I not believe it? It's I literally played the game. Oh, wrong way to... Flamingos! Oh my gosh, we have to go say hi to the flamingos later. But alas, he died before he could meet the flamingos. They also vary up the enemies that come during the no. waves at night. You might have these like no. hellhounds wolves attacking you. These guys got too many zoomies right now, man. You might have some big old reptiles. I don't like that. Just keep the fire going. It's very clear that I'm prey. What are you talking about? I'm being hunted every day. No, get away. He just jump off the cliff. <laughs> no, no, get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get a no, why? Did he die? Did I get him? Did he attack? I don't know what's happening. Get, get out of here, you glitchy boy. What's happening? Does he, is he friendly? Should I pet him? <laughs> oh, he's a good boy. Oh, he's a good scaly boy. Oh, a he just likes the warmth. He's just like a normal rept reptile. Oh, he's leaving. Okay. I thought I had a new friend. Come on, man. And that's pretty much it for the game, folks. If uh, you're looking for something else to watch, you should check out my video from last week where I experimented with a VR gunstock for the first time and uh, got up to my usual brain dead shenanigans. Oh. oh there was some fight <laughs> left inside of you. Oh. As, soon as, I, as soon as I stick my. Why was I able to make a noise? Why couldn't it have just been. <laughs> Anyways, the devs gave me some Steam keys to give away for this game, so just comment down below and tell me some fun facts about coconuts. <laughs> I'm live every Sunday here, by the way, so subscribe if you want to stay up to date. Uh, we just hit 7,000 subscribers, so you guys are nuts. Uh, thank you for sticking around. I vividly remember when I had 300 subscribers as a teenager on another channel, and I just I had the thought, like, man, I just made it. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers, guys. Use my battle talent skills, come on. And now he's standing still to help me. He's like, now I feel sorry for you, bro. God dang it. There we go. Got him. You guys all saw that. I got a first try.